guys, it's Sharianne. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really crossing my fingers right now that I am in focus because I am using my bigger Canon Rebel camera and I haven't used this in so long that I almost wasn't sure how to, how to work this. It's honestly been like years, years probably, like two years since I've used this, which is so bad. But anyway, the reason I'm filming this video today is because I wanted to film a really exciting unboxing video or at least it's super exciting for me i have a new planner that i am hoping to use uh, pretty much right away obviously it is super new for me obviously from the title of this video we all know that it's the erin condren life planner this is my first ever purchase from erin condren so i'm really excited to see what is in super fun box like look at this it's a lot um smaller than i thought the box was gonna be but i don't know so i'm gonna unbox this and i will talk a little bit about why i moved over to the erin condren planner because i just had so many thoughts and i just went back and forth a lot about why i switched over and yeah Okay guys, so here is the Erin Condren Life Planner. It took a little over a week, which actually isn't that bad. I thought it might take a little bit longer. But this is the box it came in. And then when you open it, I'm sure you guys have seen Erin Condren um, unboxings before, but since I've never had an Erin Condren planner, I thought I would just do this. Okay, so this is what it came with. This is just like this little welcome freebie, I guess, that they put in here. So it comes in this kaleidoscope box, which I think is their whole theme for their planners. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know if the boxes are different depending on the color scheme you go with for the inside of your planner. Okay, whoa, this is actually really nicely packaged. I'm impressed. Okay, this is a storage box. And it says here on this little sheet of paper that the storage is a keepsake box, so you can store covers in here, stickers, stamps, photos, and more, and more. And then it comes with a hexagon box label, gift labels, compliment cards, and friends and family discount cards. Okay, I did purchase this when they these were only I think forty five dollars, and they're typically ten dollars more. Okay, so they're typically around fifty five, fifty five to sixty base price and then if you do any of the customizations um getting a different color coil and things like that it will go up in price okay so this is what i ended up getting Ooh, it's actually really nicely packaged i went with the like green wedding shoes collaboration planner just because i really liked the cover of this one and i wanted to have a nice cover even though I did purchase other covers um, but I just wanted one that I really actually like so that in case you know on the times of the year that I don't want to use the ones I purchased from Etsy I could still use this one um, I did have it customized I just put my first name on it and then I stuck with the silver coil just because to me that doesn't matter as much I would have loved to have the black one but when I was doing my research about Erin Condren, I know some people said that it was um, peeling and things like that. So yeah, it does come with a really nice handy ruler, which I like, especially because now I have something to mark where I am in the planner. I got mine to start for essentially the rest of the year plus 2020, which as I'm looking at it, I think thought meant that it was going to start in October since that was when I was going to get it but it actually starts in September and I might just cut out those pages if I'm going to be honest because um I'm not gonna like back plan or anything that doesn't really make too much sense to me so if I flip it open um I think this page you should be able to write on it's interesting that they have the barcode here they have that on all of the planner covers. I don't know. I think that's really interesting. Um, kind of strange in my opinion, but I think you can like use an erasable marker and write on the back of that. And then they just have this 
vellum sheet covering this page and then the paper is very thick wow like much thicker than I was expecting whoa okay I probably put my name here to be honest and then here are the intro pages and it goes into the yearly view so this actually starts from July of 2019 and it goes through December of 2020 I don't know if I'm ever going to use these pages but I guess we'll find out and then it just has this these two pages I don't know what I would use these for um, it has here like new beginning, new mindset, new focus, new start, new intentions, new results. So I guess you could make every this for um, like 2020 and then I could put goals for each month. I don't know. I don't know how I would use it. And then it goes right into September. It starts, um, it starts September 2019 and I thought it was going to start October 2019. So I might cut out these pages because I'm not going to use them. <laughs> And I don't want to have like blank pages just taking up space in my planner. But let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so they have this grid dot paper on this side. And then this like monthly overview page on this side. This reminds me a lot of the Happy Planner. I don't use this page in the Happy Planner, so I probably won't use this page in this planner either. I don't really use the monthly overview in the happy planner so I guess I don't know I tried using it when I had a classic and I don't know how well it really worked for me and I currently don't use it in the mini just because it's so tiny I, I do have a sticker kit that I can try it out with so let's actually move into October since I'm not gonna use that so this is October all the weeks are gonna be the same every month is gonna be the same it's just going to look like the same monthly view it will just have diff the different colors and then I guess because the first day of the week because it goes Monday to Sunday just like the happy planner um because it starts in September it will do the September one and then it will switch over to October the pages of this though are so thick compared to what I'm used to in the happy planner like the happy planner I'm not saying their paper isn't nice but it's just a little bit thinner but this paper is not as smooth like the happy planner pages are super smooth um this one though is i don't want to say rough because that's not it but it's just a little bit more textured i guess however i will say i already like this a lot more than the happy planner just because of how neutral and blank it is I chose obviously the neutral um, color scheme for the inside of the planner but the main reason I did that was because then I could just use whatever colored pen I wanted to use on the inside um, use whatever stickers and I wouldn't have to worry about the colors clashing so much so after December of 2020 which is so strange okay so it actually ends on January 3rd then it goes into a notes section. So they have a bunch of note lined note pages in the back. And then after that, what do we come into? Oh, are these like coloring pages? What is it? I think it is, right? These must be like coloring pages that you can actually use. That's really cute and fun. They have this little, it kind of reminds me of like a beehive kind of thing. They have a contacts page in the back. I like that. Oh wow. And then it has 2021 in the back. Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wow, that seems so far away. Okay. So it just has some stickers here on this page. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This one has silver foil and then rose gold foil. It's fun. Oh, and then it has just like birthday things, celebration things. Oh wow, they even kept these really neutral, which I like. They have some labels here. And then there is this pocket, which has, oh wow. And then they ha it comes with this planner as well. This is really nice. Just 
seems so helpful and then it comes with the holidays and date. The holiday dates in the back plus contacts and passwords which I would never store my passwords here but okay. I had no idea this came with the planner. That's like such a nice surprise um, and then it just has the back cover that again you can write on. Okay guys so I did take out September so I tried ripping it out first and then it was much easier to just cut it all off at one time. But on to something that I did want to talk about why I switched over to the Erin and Condren as opposed to sticking with the Happy Planner. I used to use the classic Happy Planner as my everyday planner. Um, I did a few plan with me's. This was back in like 2016, 2017, I'm pretty sure, but I was still using the classic and I did really like it. I like the layout of the Happy Planner. Let me turn to a page because even though this is the mini, you can still kind of see it. I like the layout of the Happy Planner. I love how they have these decorative um, dividers here. I do like this page, this everyday kind of page or the monthly page, even though I don't use it. Um, and then this one is the horizontal version of the Happy Planner, but essentially the classic version looks really similar to the Erin Condren, just that there are no spaces in between the boxes. So here you have this sliver of white space and in the Happy Planner, the boxes are just all together, but they're still the same width as the Erin Condren, but a little bit taller. But my main issue with the Happy Planner that really started coming, I guess, or just started popping up more is how colorful their planners are. I know that seems really weird to be bothered by that, but the Happy Planner does not release a ton of neutral options. This was probably like the most neutral planner that they had when this release came out for 2019. Um, and even then this like still has a bunch of color in it, which is fine, I don't mind that. But you will see some happy planners where the weekends are like a totally separate color from the rest of the week. You'll go into the weekly layouts, the weekly vertical layouts, and there will be all of these designs on um, the rings, on the bottom of the pages, again with the different color weekends. And the covers were never... Like some of the covers that they've just released I thought were just getting so kitschy and not as like classic or simple as I would like. And I know not everyone is going to want something super simple, but I was really beginning to feel, especially even in 2019, but especially with their latest release, that the Happy Planner, they just aren't appealing to everyone I guess they make so many colorful planners which I understand I think that's what they set out to do but to me it almost doesn't make sense because so many of their the people who purchase happy planners add stickers to their pages I have a bunch of happy planner stickers so it's weird to me that they would add in all of this color on the pages when you know people are going to add in more color so wouldn't you want it to be like a completely almost blank canvas just like a plain simple black and white so that when you add all of your stickers and markers and things like that it's just a little bit easier to plan around i have no idea i i don't know anyway that was my main issue was that they just weren't coming out with a ton of neutral options and i couldn't understand why like i don't understand why they never release something that is neutral enough to appeal to the people that want that especially because so many people i think they call it like franken planning where they'll take the cover of one happy planner and then the pages of another happy planner and like put them together or they'll they'll add like multiple happy planners together and i don't understand that one either but for the rest of 2019, I am using my mini happy planner. This I really just use to write down good things that happened to me 
during um, each day, just as a way to keep myself a little bit more positive on the daily. I am going to do the same in this planner as well. And I think what I might do is, I don't know if I'm gonna do it daily, just because there's not a ton of space to write in here, or if I'm going to just do like a big monthly overview and put it here on this grid page, which I think would actually be kind of nice to do it that way, or to do like a weekly overview of that and put it in the sidebar. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, well, you guys, that is it for this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place. I haven't filmed a planner video in so long. I have no idea what I was saying anymore. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I won't typically be doing planner videos on here, I don't think. Who knows? Maybe I will. But I do have a planner Instagram, so if you do want to see what I end up doing with this planner, make sure to go follow me on there. I will list it down below. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new ones. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.